Hey everyone, so we just got back from our vacation to Scottsdale, Arizona. We actually got back yesterday, but I am right now in the middle of one vlogging and unpacking, doing laundry, all that good stuff. And I figured I would come on here really quick and share what I carry in my carry-on bag. This is the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche tote in the medium size this is my go-to travel tote bag i love this bag if you've been here a while you know i've owned this bag in all the sizes i started out with the large size and sold that and got the like rectangular style one then they came out with this one and this one was perfect and i love it i have taken this bag with me on almost every flight i've ever taken since getting this bag if you guys are new here i traveled to chicago at least twice a month for a little over two years before i moved here this was my tote bag of choice just because it holds so so much even though it is the medium size and it's somewhat structured but not too structured it expands quite a bit so you can get a lot in this tote bag as you guys will see here soon when i show you everything but it's perfect the only thing about this tote bag you have to make sure whatever contents you are carrying are secure because it does not have a zip top now it does have like button snaps where you can close this bag completely if you snap all of the little buttons but i usually pack this bag so much like so much so that i could never snap the buttons to close it all the way even if it had a zipper i wouldn't be able to zip it just because i utilize all the space the length and the width of this bag i utilize it all so you just want to make sure that you don't have a lot of like loose stuff in here because it will fall out i've never had that problem just because i pack it so tight but that's just something to keep in mind if you are interested in this tote and something else i wish it had a longer strap like i can carry this over my shoulder as you can see but well minus the claw clip but as you can see it does kind of like fall down so Sometimes I will carry it over my shoulder if I have other items in my hand. Like when we were going through the airport, we had the stroller. And so at one point I was pushing the stroller and my suitcase and I had to like put it over my shoulder while I was going to check our bags. But once I did that, I ended up just hooking it to my son's stroller and just doing it that way. So I didn't really have to carry it that much in the airport. It fits underneath the seat perfectly. You can lay it flat and put it under or you can just kind of like slide it under underneath the seat in front of you i've never had issues with that um while carrying this bag it has been through a lot it doesn't have any major wear and tear the only signs of wear on here there's like some like water stains back here for me just like carrying water bottles and stuff spilling but nothing too noticeable the straps are so nice and very very durable this is a very well made good quality bag so i am confident carrying this bag that nothing is going to like fall apart or break these straps have been tested trust me on many occasions so let's go ahead and get into what's inside the bag so as you guys saw i have my little claw clip clipped on to the side because i was I had my hair kind of like up like this while uh, we were in flight and I took a little nap. That's in there. Then my phone, I have that just right on top. This bag does have an inside zipper pocket. And in here I have gum of my boarding passes to and from. We did fly American. And that was my first time ever flying American. I think it was PK's first time too. We usually fly Delta, but Delta didn't have any direct flights from Chicago to Phoenix. So we got flights through um, American because we just don't do layovers. It's just, it's a non-negotiable. <laughs> um, we are definitely straight flight folks, especially flying with a toddler, which let me know if you guys want me to share my kind of like tips for traveling 
with a toddler because there are some things that I think would be helpful to those who may be traveling soon with little ones. The original Authenticity little car, it's still in a plastic. That's crazy. Um, I've never taken it out. This is the little Farfetch'd little ticket that came with the bag because I did get this from Farfetch. But yeah, so there we go. Now we've got, gosh, y'all know I like to have my bags up on display when I'm sharing it with you. Um, hold on, let me go get a little like chair or something. All right, we're gonna use my toddler's little chair here so you guys can see. Okay, so this is my tech case. It holds my camera, my tripod, I have the Sony ZV-1, and then all of my like cords. Um, I've taken a few things out just because I've been vlogging today, but this is a great little tech bag. I got this off Amazon. I'll leave a link below. If you vlog or if you're a travel vlogger and you want like a compact, nice, good quality case to keep all of your like stuff in that you need, this is a great buy. Um, I also have my little Negetti pouch. This has... Clorox wipes because we wipe everything down on the airplane. It's essential. I know they may go through and do their little cleaning, but those planes are dirty. And then I also had some wet ones and some Kleenex tissues. So that's in there. Um, my sunglasses are in here. You guys have seen these, but. These are sunglasses I pretty much wore the entire <laughs> trip. Oh, they're so dirty. They're so nice. So I got those in there. And this case is huge. Like, it's it's like literally almost the size of my <laughs> tech pouch. It's so big, but it's really nice. I did bring my book, The Mountain Is You. This was my little like poolside read. It's an easy book to read. Great book for like self-reflecting and so that's kind of what I wanted to do while I was on this trip was just kind of you know like reflect on things and what I want to do going forward so, yeah and then this is just my little Prada pouch it just has my like other tech stuff my charger phone charger wired uh, headphones airpod pros that's what's in here which came in handy on the flight because they had like a little USB charging little thingy where you could plug in your phone or your computer so that worked out great. My laptop fits in here also which is always essential. I always carry my laptop in my carry-on bag that is non-negotiable. That was in there and then my my niece toiletry bag was in there. I always carry my toiletry pouch in my bag with me one it just saves room in my suitcase because it is so big and two it fits in here perfectly it doesn't really take up that much space because I can stack things on top of it just the way it's shaped so I always carry this with me plus I usually have like essential things in here that I could use on flight like moisturizers facial creams things like that so yeah, this is usually like makeup or skincare products in this bag, but I always carry it with me because, yeah. <laughs> I have my wallet. This is the Victorine wallet. And I have my Toiletry 19 pouch. And this is the pouch that pretty much is like my catch-all in this bag. I have the Touchland hand sanitizer, a Josie Marin little mini body butter and this is in the unscented lots and lots and lots of lip products are there more yes there are oh my goodness it's crazy okay so i have the away and tower 28 lip gloss in here iced coffee summer friday birthday cake summer friday dior clarence lip oil and this is the the ysl candy glaze lip like bomb oil thing which I really like so yeah all the lip products 
in this bag. Some Advil, little mini Vaseline <laughs> hand screen, sunscreen. This is a SPF 40 hand screen, silk satin hair scrunchie. And then this we took from the hotel, but it's the salt and stone body lotion and the bergamot hinoki. And like PK and I both really <laughs> enjoyed this, uh, like lotion the consistency of it is really really nice it has a really nice slick consistency but it's still like really nice and hydrating and it smells really good and i have a dior cuticle brush doohickey because my cuticles are always so dry and i have to apply this at least two to three times a day so yeah that some little random sticks of gum extra contact lenses because I can never be <laughs> without my contact lenses I will not be able to see anything so I always keep extra ones in my bag with me but yeah and then this is just a little insert that I got off of Amazon yeah that's in there and then I have a brush this is from the resort they had brushes and the little spa where I went and got a massage so I took one because it was nice and I, I used it to like fix my hair and I was like oh this is a nice little brush so I took that <laughs> and yeah that's it it's just some random change in here a little like large hair tie and that's it so yeah that's everything that I carried with me in my travel carry-on bag. I will link this bag if I can find it in this size. But again, it's a great tote. Can't say enough good things about it. It's popular for a reason. Like I said, I use it for travel and I use it for like pool days too because it's just a nice, you know, chic, good looking tote um, that I feel can be worn all year round. I wouldn't limit myself to this for just the summer. Um, I do use it all year round because I'm a mom and I need totes to tote multiple things for multiple children. Um, but yeah, if I can find it, I'll link it for you guys. But yeah, guys, that's everything that I wanted to share with you all in this video. I hope you all found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.